get everybody around here from Machine Cult talking about sports uh, dams. So last video touched on the six litre capacity limit. So that's the capacity limit for a naturally aspirated um, car in sports sedans is six litres. So if you want to run a turbo on it or a blower, um, it's 3.5 litres because it's a multiplication that they do that brings it up to six and that's as high as you can go. So you can't run the barrel motor, for example, unfortunately. Um, now, my understanding, and I'm not from Motorsport Australia, I'm not, how can I say it? I'm not an official person of sports sedans, i.e. I don't run the class in Victoria, New South Wales or Nationals or anything like that. I do race in the class and I do do social media for them and things like that. But um, my understanding is the Motorsport Australia do not want us to run bigger powered motors. So we can't, they don't want us to go over six litres. I think there's insurance. I think there's all kinds of things. Um, it's pretty clear that sports sedans are fast um, and getting faster. We keep going quicker. Um, some lap records have fallen. Well, you know, the last couple of years has been COVID, but up until then they were sort of steadily falling down. Um, and at some tracks we're definitely pushing um, the limit of the tyres and things like that. So um, when you get upset that you can't run your turbo barra, understand it's not necessarily the category managers that are saying, no, you know, oh, it's not going to happen. Well, we are because it's six litres is limit. But it has been uh, a subject broached to Motorsport Australia in the past and six litres is where it's going to stop. Um, engine location, I think, is important as well. So um, there was a point in time where rear-mounted motors could run uh, located behind the rear axle. That is not the case. So I think the thing that sort of defines sports and ands as a class is that the motor can be moved back to the centre line of the car. So... Uh, if you measure between the axles, the front and rear axle is a center point, you can bring the rear part of the block to that spot. Um, you know, people complain, oh, why can't I run a Porsche? Why can't I put, do a VW? Um, some people wanted to get a formula car and turn it around or do something with it, I don't know. Um, you can't, all right? Don't be a dick. Um, the engine, that's where you can bring it back to. Um, it makes it super badass. It makes it burn your leg. It's really cool. Well, it's very hot, actually. <coughs> um, but that's the situation with engines, all right? So it can't be moved behind that center line. It can't be over six liters. And if it's forced induction, it can't be over three and a half liters. They're the rules. We have a fairly broad sheet of rules in the class. You can do a lot of things to your car that you can't do in any other class. Um, you know, and there has to be a line in the sand somewhere. Um, people have spent a lot of money to get big horsepower out of six litre motors. And if we suddenly said you can run eight litre motors, that's, you know, wiping out hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of development that a lot of the teams have done. Um, and I'm sure if you were in that situation, you'd be pretty pissed off if that happened to you. So um, that's why. So um, it's just one of those things. It's, the cars are so goddamn quick now. There are lots of options for motors. So you could always um, V-stroke a motor that's over that. I think there is a barrel running and they're working on doing that. And I think they're going to get pretty quick. It's a nice solid motor. So, um, you know, I can't see why it wouldn't um, work. So, yeah, engines, sports sedans, machine cult ran. Peace.